Hello and welcome to the Power Shed. Uh, I think it was over a week ago that I uh, put this RC5 on uh, my water heater. Uh, this is the one with the extended sensor. And uh, as you can see, I just have some scotch tape on the side holding it together. Uh, when you put the cap on, that holds it pretty well here. This is the hardest part to get apart, so, you know, be very careful with that. Like I say, I've been uh, monitoring my water heater, and uh, it's time to find out what it's been doing. So we just take this, and we plug it into the USB port. And it should say, uh, yeah, it's reading the data now. So now we can go into uh, graphing. Now look at this graphing and there's our temperature swings. As you can see right here, uh, if you move the cursor, it'll tell you what data point it is. So the high temperature was at uh, 127 F and uh, that was at uh, 1519. So I don't know whatever that is. And then the lowest point is at about 730. And then you can see it's, uh, you know, even at, you know, there's the first, even at 8 o'clock it's still producing a little bit of power. And it gets up to uh, full temperature at uh, 1015. And these are the little on and off cycles. And so, uh, like I say, the peak is around uh, 125, 127. And the lows are about uh, 124.7. But uh, this is, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, almost 11 days of data. And it never drops below you know, like 107 most times. Uh, this was a rainy day and I actually did the dishes at this time. That was about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You can see the dip. But, uh, you know, it works really, really well. Now, if you look over here in this corner, there's this little symbol here and that says uh, JPG. So you can take this screen and save it into a, a picture that you can, you know, share on the internet. Or you can save all this data as a PDF file. You know, it'll be a couple, couple pages, but every data point, it's going to list the time, the date, and what the temperature was. So, I find this uh, really easy to use. It's So we go one, two, four. So it turns on about seven times a day. And as you can see, you know, just uh, starting at 7.30, we're starting to put power into the, you know, even though the batteries aren't fully charged, we're putting some power in. And then by about 9.30, we're up to temperature. So this is a pretty successful system. And uh, I don't know if I told you, but this tank is six gallons. It's an EcoSmart. And it has a 1500 watt heater. And we're putting about 60 volts into it. I don't know, typically around 350, 400 watts is uh, what you'll see. And uh, if you, if you, Put about 800 watts into it a day, uh, you know, you have enough hot water for normal activities. Now, I do have a feeder tank that's a 10 gallon, and that works off a uh, 50 uh, volt system, and that has a 2000 watt heater. And again, that one's about 
four, you know, 400 watts because it's it's only on 50 volts. But you know, this is successful, and uh, this little Eco Smart, I mean Eco Elite Tech, is a pretty neat little device. I'm going to be doing some things with uh, uh, instead of the temperature sensor, I'm going to be feeding voltage in to uh, see if I can make some kind of data logger. It'll at least make a nice event logger for things turning on and off, but that's how it works. You can save files, you can export to email. It's a very useful program. And considering you can pick these up for about $15, I, I picked this up new for a lot less, you know, shipped to me. And uh, it came in original packaging, but they're not hard to take apart. And uh, you press the button, and you can read the temperature. You know, so it's just it's just like a thermostat. You can uh, just leave it on your system. And while it's out here, and while we you know log this data, it's continuing to uh, take data. So when I pull this out again, I may have two weeks of data or three weeks. So just wanted to show you that. Thanks for watching. Catch you again.